Hey everyone, it's Mr. G. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can record your own sound if you can't find what you're looking for in the sound library. Or if you don't want to use text-to-speech and you want to use your actual voice to make your project a little bit more personal. If you learned something from this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the like or thumbs up button below. And if you want to see future videos of mine show up in your subscription feed, make sure to subscribe also. To record your own sound, you'll first have to go over to the Sounds tab. By default, we only have Meow available. So if we want to add our own sound, we have to go down to the bottom left, the little icon that lets you choose a sound, but before you click it again, you're going to click on the little microphone that says Record when you hover over it. When you click it, your browser will ask you for permission to access your microphone, so make sure to allow it. If you start talking, you'll notice the colors start lighting up in the sound meter. To start recording, click the red record button. What up, bear? If you make a mistake or you want to start over, hit the stop button and then select re-record. Otherwise, you can then play the sound that you just recorded, or you could trim it by moving the sliders over, leaving only the part that you want to keep, and then hitting save. Now I recommend renaming your sound to whatever you said. Once you finish recording your sound, you can then modify it in the sound editor. You can change its speed, its volume, maybe have a fade in or fade out, reverse it, or even make it sound like a robot. To undo the effect, you just click on this undo button. Back in the sound palette of the code tab, you could also change some of its effects over here. You could change the pitch and you could change the volume. I now have that sound available to me in the sound palette, so I can play the sound that I just recorded. What up, bear? Take note that the sound that you recorded is only available to the sprite that you recorded it in. So if I go over to this bear sprite and I look at the sounds available to me by clicking on the sounds tab, the bear doesn't have that sound that I just recorded. Let me go back to sprite one and if I want to bring over this sound, I can click it and drag it over the bear sprite and let it go. And now it'll be available to the bear. You could also use the backpack down here at the bottom. If you're logged in, drag the sound into the backpack and then you can bring it over to other projects or other sprites within the same project. So that can come in really handy. But since I don't need the bear to say what up bear, I'm just going to go back to the sounds tab in the bear and delete it. And note that that's not going to delete it from my sprite one, the cat. You also don't have to record just speech. If you want to create your own sound effects, you can do just that. Especially if what you're looking for isn't built into scratch. 